We have a Simplite trash pump powered by a Villiers Mark 10 four stroke. Uh, it's sat for quite a number of years. You can see what's dropped out of the tank there. Um, we're just uh, just trying to get a spark out of it at the minute. So we're going to pull the pull the flywheel, uh, set the points, take the cylinder head off to find the um, five degrees before top dead centre, and see if we can't get the old girl running. There's the points here on this beautiful British uh, station engine. Um, uh, don't need the cover off the points to set the set the gap. Yeah, actually, you need it on because the uh, the retaining screw is on the cover. But we've uh, you've always got to check the condition of the points. Um, we've cleaned them up with a bit of paper. Uh, anything anything really uh, 240 or lighter will be okay for this. Uh, we'll just pop the cover back on and set the set the points to. 12 to 15 thousandths of an inch. To set the gap in the points, we need the flywheel on because this has got the uh, the cam built into the, the flywheel. Um, check the flywheel is actually clean. Um, it doesn't matter where the flywheel is in relation to the engine at this point because we just want to just want to set the gap. There's a very small arrow on here. Uh, oh God, where is it? There lines up to the uh, lines up to the ridge up here. This signifies the the high spot on the cam uh, next to the next to the points. Um, it's always nice to uh, open the points so the cam doesn't damage the uh, damage the lifter on the points. So we'll just pop a screwdriver in there. If you force it on, you'll obviously Obviously, do a bit of damage. Am I doing damage? I don't know. I don't think at home I'm not doing damage. The the flywheel's on, but not tight tight. It's just uh, it's just nipped up there to make sure the the cone's seated properly. Um, we've got a little arrow aligned with a ridge in the in the case. Um, just going to put the. We're actually using a metric feeder gauge 0.3 mil um, so that's somewhere in between uh, 12 and 13 thou uh, the imperial imperial feeders I have are, are way too big to go in the hole so um, you probably won't be able to see this too well uh, it's actually a little bit too wide at the minute just back that screw off close them up a touch Close them up too much. Uh, we don't want a loose fit. We don't want a tight fit. We want a little bit of gentle interference, I suppose. Um, this this gap is critical. Uh, now we need to get the uh, the piston on the right stroke and uh, the right advance. So. Um, that's why we're taking the cylinder head off. Um, we're going to turn the engine around. This is compression stroke. None of the valves are open. Uh, we'll just check that. Yeah, exhaust. Uh, this is the correct rotation of the engine. Inlet, compression, and TDC, top dead centre that is, on the compression stroke. Um, <clears throat> to time this engine up, we need to measure 3 sixteenths travel with the piston. Um, I don't actually know it's travel, but three sixteenths from the top so let's hope this is right uh, that pistons now three sixteenths from the from the TDC the yeah TDC, TDC. <clears throat> so at this point the points at this point the points uh, with, the, with the piston three sixteenths down from the top we should have the, the points just down. So now we need to just back this nut off ever so slightly without rotating the engine and uh, and set the set the arrow back to this ridge, and then visually inspect the points to make sure they are just opening. Um, where's that little arrow gone? Making sure you're not turning the engine at the same time. Here you go. 
um, points are open. It looks like they've been open a little while. Uh, this is known as a year gap. So we only want them just, just coming open. That arrow signifies the high spot on the cam. So it's it's not really a timing point. Right here the points are just, just cracking open. So we're going to nip it up at that. And then uh, tighten the whole thing down and check we haven't moved at all. Once we have everything in the right place, um, points gapped and cam set at uh, 3 sixteenths TDC, BTDC. Uh, we need to get this retaining nut fairly tight, uh, otherwise we'll, we'll be starting off there and um, if it backfires it will just throw the timing out and everything else. We have to find a safe spot to poke a, poke a bar or a screwdriver in, something fairly heavy anyway. Uh, one of the nuts is, is, is what we're going to do here. And, uh, and, and where do you off this bar? Yeah. I think someone's tried using a, uh, one, of the, one of the fins on the fan to stop this thing turning before with the uh, unsurprising result that it's just fucked that one up and that one. And yeah, there's the other two. Either way, you need to find something solid. A couple of them though. Sorry? There's a couple of bends. There's a couple of bends. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that, that, that is tight now, so we're just gonna, just gonna throw the um, starting, uh, starting pulley on it. Find a bit of rope, if there's one about somewhere, and uh, and see if we've got a spark. Go in first. That one, that one, that one. That one, uh -huh. that one, that one, that one. I don't need that cover yet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll have a we'll have a little clean up if we do get a spark. Uh, oh, you know what, Ash? You're right. You're always bloody right, aren't you? Oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine if we get your mouth shut. Uh, yeah. got that window shut. No, we we'll haven't. Just. Shut the, uh, shut the points window just in case it does one properly and we don't pull all this off again. Just turn it around with the screwdriver. Points window shut. And dust cover. There we're seeing, I think. Put that on. Put these on here. We should have a spark now, all being well. Uh, we've not got the switch on because the switch, the kill switch, is attached to the cowl and we don't have that on at the minute, obviously, to get all this that's been removed. So, um, so what? Where's that socket? Um, but the, P lead is away from everything, so that can't possibly earth out. So we should should get a spark now. Um, that's pretty grotty, but there is some tiny metal there. Plug we've had a look at. We've tested all out on our little spark plug tester. The engine's so bloody dirty, there's actually no nowhere to really uh, left the plug off for RB, I suppose. Just do it there. Sit this on here and. Uh, a pull through, I suppose. Got a little bit of rope. I don't think this is genuine Villiers pull rope, but it shouldn't matter in this case. Oh, uh, I don't know. No? It might make it hard to start. And. Plugly plug plug. Yep. I don't, did you put that up on the camera? Yeah, it's quite, I'll get the nicer next uh, time. But there was a spot, a nice strong spark there. Now yeah, let, uh, let me just wrap the old, the old rope around again. Kicks. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, next up, um, we're not quite ready to run off, we've got to throw the head back on. We're going to scrape the uh, scrape the shit out of the head, there's not actually that much on it. It looks like this engine has done very little work. Um, there was no fuel hose when we got hold of this. And uh, this is what came out of the 
fuel tank. Um, Not uh, the stones. But. Well, no, the stones, stones is actually a, a very crafty way of cleaning out corroded fuel tanks. We'll fill it up with a... Uh, fill it up with a... And then uh, take it like a payload of pitcher. Uh, yeah, the uh, float bowl and the carburetor is also full of something similar. Um, so we've got to sort the fuel system out and then we'll, uh, we'll try and fire it up. Um, obviously the cowlings and stuff aren't back on but we um, we want to know if we've done the right thing with the timing and all that. Uh, we've cleaned the fuel tank out, bit of temporary fuel line on there, uh, What well, set the timing, clean the points. Other than that, this engine has not been touched in 25 years and I can quite believe it by all the shit on it. Um, carb float bowl was full of rust. Uh, nothing more to say really. Give it a pull over ash. Start yeah, Garmin. Oh. Yeah, Lee. Right. Let Lee back on, probably. Yeah. Yeah, cool. No, oh, oops, sorry. Ah, fuel is on. And the fuel on. Fuel is off. Sorry, that, that fuel tap was absolutely choked with rust. Give it another, another tug. Ah! Is me going to start? What's going on with this? Oh, yeah. That is. It looked like a, a choke of some description. Third time's the charm, Ash. Can you? Go on. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 no skin left. Ready? Oh, man. What? Oh, cock. That's right. Take two. He's not fucked up the time again, Commons. Maybe. I don't have it very handy either. I know you saw me do it, but... <laughs> if that rope doesn't come off, it's taking your hand off that <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, fan, yeah. isn't it? Let's see you do it. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Beauty, 25 years. Um, yeah, can't stop a British flathead running. 